It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with chief investment officer, the man with the plan, and yes, his hair is real, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's uh, shaking on this glorious January uh, weekend, last weekend in January? Last weekend in January, Rye, and we have markets at all-time record highs, and my birds are in the Super Bowl. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Bob, you are, uh, it's, it does, it's as good as it gets. You know, you're in Florida, you got your jacuzzi, you got the Eagles. And uh, on top of that, the markets are at record highs week after week. This is uh, it's a golden period. It is a golden period. And it's, uh, as I always say, right, bull markets are way more fun than bear markets. <laughs> no truer words have been spoken. Well, we have a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about Bob and I's market crash survival guide. Are you prepared for the next crash or correction in the stock market? What precautions do you need to make now to protect yourself against any market pullbacks in the future? We're going to talk about building your financial house. Just like your home is only as solid as the foundation it's built on, Bob and I are going to discuss what groundwork you need to lay down to put together the most solid financial plan to make sure that you're financially in shape. And lastly, we have our financial pornography. A lot of stuff out there in the media this week that you need to avoid at all costs. And we have our star certified financial planner, Michelle McKinnon, is going to be on the show this morning. And she's going to discuss a real case during our spotlight segment where she worked with some real retirees. And she's going to point out some of the mistakes they were making with their planning and investing so you can avoid those mistakes with your own. So let's get right to it. Let's, Bob, talk about our market crash survival guide. And last time I checked, Bob, unfortunately, I don't have a crystal ball. It broke like uh, 17, 18 years ago when I got into business. Well, Ryan, you don't have a crystal ball, but you know we can always look back to see what's happened. And sometimes that helps looking forward, but not always. So I have a question for you. We're in a ninth Shoot. year of a big, booming bull market. Out of all the asset classes in the last nine years, what's number one performance? Over nine years, the best performer, I'm going to guess, is small cap growth. Absolutely right. Ding, hey. ding, 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 ding. Yes. I've been and doing most this for a people while. would have thought large cap, correct? Right. Everyone would think that if, if we looked at it, it'd be large cap growth stocks. Your Apples, Amazons, right? The big large cap US growth stocks would be number one. But mm -hmm. I guess that's not correct. No, actually, large caps were th came in third place. And, you know, really what it does, Rob, right, reminds me about how important it is to invest properly. You know, reminds me, number one, always stay humble. You know, it looks easy right. now. You look past over nine years. Boy, it's so it's so easy, right? But returns are they're random. I mean, the reason small caps or small company stocks have outperformed is because in 2013, they had that big 40 percent return year that, right. uh, you know, skews the averages. So, you know, returns come in bunches, right? They don't necessarily come in a straight line. And I think it really is a great lesson to talk about the importance of, you know, understanding diversification, but also mean reversion, right? Everything reverts to the mean. That's a good Bobism. Yeah, exactly right. What goes up must come down and what is down must come up at some point. And that's why I think a baseline when you're looking at building your portfolio it has to be proper diversification. And to your point, Bob, just the fact that we've been in a nine year booming bull market, you're probably overweighted in US stocks right now. And if you look at it historically, US stocks only outperform about half the time. So you need to really look at having a global portfolio. The other thing I think about is when the market's up, you don't know what risk you really have in your portfolio, Bob. Going back to that famous Warren Buffett quote, it's not until the tide goes out, you can see it's been swimming naked. No, so true, Ry. I mean, it's you know, so hard not to micromanage your portfolio when you have all that noise. You know, for example, you know, people have a great strategy. Everything's doing really well right now. And along comes Bitcoin. All of a sudden, people think they're missing out. They've got to have Bitcoin in their portfolio. That's a big mistake. You know, so you want to avoid 
focusing on things that uh, make you jealous, right? You don't want to be a jealous investor. You want to be an <laughs> investor that achieves your goals. That's right. Keep emotions out of it. This is not an emotional game, which also makes me think of too, you know, one of the one of the things that we run, the reports we run, is we look at how is your portfolio diversified today and how would it hold up in a bear market? So if the market corrected tomorrow, how would your portfolio stand or withstand the stress tests is probably a good way of looking at it. And what we found is when we run these numbers a lot of times, your portfolio looks a lot like it did back when you were maybe earlier in your career and you could be more aggressive. But you have to remember, now that we're past the market correction of 2008, we're, almost, we're 10 years later, you can't afford to have the same kind of risk in your portfolio. So you need to put your portfolio under that stress test and look at, okay, if the market corrected tomorrow, how would my portfolio fare? Yeah, really, you know, Ryan, it comes down to investing based on your goals, being process-driven, not event-driven because you can't predict what's unpredictable. You can't know what's unknowable and you can't control the markets, but there are things you can control, right? You can control, you know, keeping your costs down. You can control staying balanced. You can control reducing risk as you have success. Yeah. And I think the other thing to add on to that, Bob, is, you know, as we go from what we call having a wealth accumulation portfolio to a wealth distribution portfolio is you want to be less reliant on market fluctuations. That's why we always talk about income. You know, if you have an income stream that your portfolio produces, that's much more reliable than year after year, hoping the market's going to go up. And we're already nine years into a bull market. So you have to start thinking to yourself, how many more years is this going to keep up? But if you have a portfolio that's income driven, you're not going to be as dependent on what the market's doing year by year. I mean, if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a market crash survival guide. I've got to make sure that my portfolio is set up so I'm protected if the market goes down. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $250,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review. If you bring in all of your statements, we're going to load them in and build a personalized portal so we can look at everything from a bird's eye view and we're going to take an x-ray of your full portfolio. We're going to look at income. How much income does your portfolio produce on an annual basis? Can we increase the income on your portfolio to make sure you're retirement ready? We're going to look at diversification. What risk do you have in your portfolio? If the market has a crash tomorrow, are you properly protected? Bob and I are going to point out all the pitfalls in your current allocation. And we're going to look at fees. What hidden costs do you have in your portfolio? Do you own a lot of expensive mutual funds, annuities, insurance products? Bob and I are going to break down all the fees on your portfolio and show you how to reduce the cost to make sure there's more money going into your pocket. And finally, what we're going to do is we're going to tie it all together and we're going to determine, is your money going to outlive you or are you going to outlive your money utilizing strategies now our family has worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? All you have to do is call 844-PLAN-NYC. You can call or text us at 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will create for you your own personal 360 financial portal. Just give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. Call or text 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne. This is Ryan Payne. We are the pains of no pain, no gain financial radio. From your first encounter with the Payne Capital Management family, you'll notice a difference. First of all, the team doesn't represent any institutions. They represent their clients. That's the power of being independent. They really separate themselves from the large brokerages in how important their personal relationship is with you, the client. You can expect frequent communication about your plan from the team. You'll have the freedom to select top investment strategies, not just one particular product. And as a fee-based financial advisory group, Payne Capital Management embraces its fiduciary responsibility to help you make decisions that serve your best interest and no one else's. See what the PCM difference is all about. Call today for a complimentary review. 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692.
It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Officer of Payne Capital Management. And the markets hit, once again, all-time record highs this week. It's as Yogi Berra once said, it's deja vu all over again. Markets continue to move higher, led by emerging markets up almost 10% year-to-date, as profits continue to accelerate globally, and with corporate America doing its part by delivering solid growth so far in this fourth quarter earnings season. Now, Jeff Salt of Raymond James, I think, says it best. The U.S. economy is stronger than a garlic milkshake. Now, in spite of new highs almost on a daily basis, investors of all types, institutional and individual, are still haunted by the 50% drop in 2008 and continue to structure their portfolios as if the market's going to drop like 2008 any day now in spite of the fact that drops of that magnitude occur less than 1% of the time. Bear markets don't happen when fundamentals are improving and when the global economy is accelerating, especially with all this liquidity on the sidelines and when investors are as skeptical as they are today. As John Templeton so famously said, bull markets are born on pessimism, grown on skepticism, mature on optimism, and die on euphoria. So for now, the best way to achieve your goals is to stay invested, buy any dips, and keep a close eye on your friends and neighbors for any signs of euphoria. Now, if you're wondering, is my portfolio structured to participate in this big, booming bull market? Well, why sit there and wonder when you can know? Simply give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. You can call or text us at 844-752-6692. We told you earlier that Bob Payne is Managing Director of Payne Capital Management. This means he oversees all the portfolio designs and financial planning strategies for the firm. For 40 years, he's worked to change the way the financial industry approaches financial planning. He turned away from the traditional Wall Street sales pitch and pioneered a new approach to retirement planning using goal-oriented, customizable plans that better fit your individual needs. Reach out to Bob and the team for a complimentary review by calling 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. Time for some New York City trivia. Did you know Albert Einstein's eyeballs are stored in a safe deposit box in the city? That's both cool and a little weird at the same time. Meanwhile, if you need some help keeping an eye on what your portfolio is doing, keep listening to No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I are about one thing, and that's education. And we want to make sure that you have the most timely, practical, common sense advice when it comes to your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest guide, which is the highlights of the new tax reform. If you haven't downloaded it yet, you can download it for free at 555-888. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. You can get all the highlights of the new tax reform. Make sure you're tax ready in 2018. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And in this segment, we want to talk about building your financial house. And let's be real, Bob. The idea of putting together a financial plan, even though you and I find it to be a very exciting, sexy experience, doesn't sound like a very exciting project to, I think, most people. But the idea of building a home sounds like a lot of fun. So I thought, why don't we find the similarities in building a strong financial plan with building your dream home? How does that sound? Well, it sounds great, Ry, but I'll tell you what, at my stage in life, it was more exciting selling the dream home than it was <laughs> than building the dream home, in my opinion, right now. It's a good point. It's a good point. I know when you start looking at the overhead after so many years, it's a little less glamorous than when you're first building that dream home. So point well, taken, I always Bob. remember having you out there mow that lawn, son. That's all I remember. <laughs> I don't remember doing that, and I'm, glad, I'm grateful <laughs> that I didn't have to do that. But when we're talking about building our, you know, building a home or building a financial plan, if we're talking about building the foundation, in your opinion, what is the foundation of a solid financial plan? Well, you know, in all plans in life, whether it's building a home or building a, a financial plan, it's A to B. You got to get from point A to point B. So you got to start at the beginning. And the beginning of any home 
is building that foundation. And every foundation should be built with cash flow. You need income, right? You know, I took a client out to lunch the other day and we tried to pay for lunch with a relative performance of our equity portfolio. And the waiter didn't know what we were talking about. See, it's amazing. You need cash, you know, to go out there and buy things and to, to spend on things. So income <laughs> is absolutely the base and most boring part of the portfolio, but you've got to have it, whether it's passive income, so security and pension, or income from a bond portfolio. Well, that's a good point because let's face it, unless you actually realize those gains on your portfolio and they're unrealized, that doesn't mean anything. They could disappear tomorrow, uh, which is another reason why you really want to make sure that you're doing some rebalancing. When the market does really well, like it did last year and already into this year, one of the best things you can do is take some of those profits and put them into an income producing investment that's going to set you up for the rest of your life. And no better time to do that than, than right now to start building that foundation or income plan. The other thing yeah, I think about strong, Bob is you need that strong foundation, right? So if when those winds of the bear market blow, you know you want your house built on a very strong foundation. Nicely said, Bob. Nicely said. The other thing I would think about is you got to put the walls up once you have the foundation. And you know when we talk about our financial plan, Bob, you know what are the walls of your financial plan? The walls of, fa- of a financial plan are an asset allocated, diversified, globally diversified portfolio, which builds a portfolio across asset classes and within asset classes. And today you have the greatest time in the world to be an investor. Costs are low, transaction costs are almost non-existent, and every investment that should be in your portfolio should be 100% liquid. I mean, you can get your money out the same day you make the phone call. That's the big difference today than any other time in history, right? Yeah, I agree. When you're talking about a foundation, liquidity is so key, being able to access your investments. And that's one of the arguments we have against a lot of these annuities that are sold is you may get an income stream, but you may have to give up your principal. And giving up your principal in retirement is a very, very risky thing to do. So liquidity on your portfolio, I agree, is such a critical thing. And just talk a little bit about diversification. You know, what amazes me, Bob, is if you look at the capitalization of the U.S. stock market, it's about 50% of the world capitalization, which means about there's 50% of markets are all outside the U.S. However, our portfolios are typically 70% in the U.S. Why is that? Well, there's just the home bias. I mean, people have a, a comfort level with investing in their own companies. I read an article the other day, right, about a financial planner in Taiwan, and his largest investor is a multi-billionaire. And he told him he wasn't diversified properly. He says, what do you mean? He said, you need to have you know, money invested in other markets. He said, like where? He said, like the United States. He goes, United States, that's <laughs> risky. <laughs> now, here's, here's someone who lives in Taiwan. He says, hey, I drive by the companies I'm invested in every day. I see their buildings. What do I know about the United States? I love it. And then think about it. You know, wake up in the morning. I'm drinking my coffee from Colombia, right? I put on my shoes uh, that are leather from Italy. There's other companies in other parts of the world that are making money off of you and you're not even benefiting from it. Um, another crazy statistic is over the last 20 years, no country has been the best place to be for more than two years in a row. So that means over time, the US typically is not the best market in the world on a year by year basis. And if you look at over time, 50% of the markets around the world do just as well over time. So having that global portfolio is a critical part of your, your diversification. And you make a great point, Rye. Liquidity is key, but diversification is even more important because real hidden insidious risk to everyone's portfolio is inflation. And if you don't have your money growing, so it's not, you know, have money in cash sitting in a checking account earning zero. You want to have money diversified in financial markets because you need to grow your buying power, your purchasing power over inflation. That's the biggest threat to your portfolio right now. Yeah, absolutely. It is is cost of living. And that's why also you need to have a roof on your portfolio, right? We know we have to have protection if something over time, uh, God forbid, something happens to you, and you know you can't pr- you can't earn the income like you used to, and that's where insurance can be a big part of that. Healthcare costs they can be astronomical in retirement, so you need to decide: Do I self-insure for that? Do I get a long-term care policy? But you need something out there to protect your portfolio, especially with healthcare costs, because we're living a lot longer than we used to. Yeah, that's where it, you know your investment portfolio should be process-driven, but your insurance costs should be event-driven. You know, the last thing you want to do, even though you think you have enough money to self-insure, don't want to be forced to liquidate in the teeth of a 
you know, bear market like we had in 2008 or 2000, right? It's, it sounds good that you're making money in the market right now, but insurance is an absolute critical element of a successful financial plan. Yeah. And you have to, you know, the, the analysis you want to run there is you want to look at if my portfolio took a quarter of a million dollar hit tomorrow, what would that do to my portfolio? And that's what healthcare costs could look like in retirement. You could take a hit like that, make sure your portfolio can do it, or look at insurance, but someone needs to run those numbers. And then lastly, you know, Bob- right. so right. after- you know, People are living longer, but think about all the miracle, medical miracles that are happening almost on an annual basis. So you think, well, you know, my, my dad lived an X date, my mom lived an X date, my grandparents did, but you got to keep thinking about how you're going to live a lot longer because a lot of, a lot of diseases- that killed off a lot of the prior population are going to be cured. Yeah. Yeah. Longevity is definitely something that has to be put into your plan and something that's more important today than it used to be. And then finally, Bob, if you build this beautiful portfolio, you can live off of it. It's protected. You've got your income you're producing on an annual basis. It could all be for naught if you don't have the right estate plan in place to make sure that your heirs can essentially inherit your wealth with the least amount of government partnership. A very well, part, important part of the That's where you make a lot of thing. mistakes because if you don't have an estate plan, all this other planning goes right out the window. Things aren't titled properly. You can give so much money away when you're not here to control it. You know, Ry, these are all really good points about building a financial house. But I got a question for you. Whenever you ask anyone on a scale of one to 10, how organized are they financially? What do they typically tell you? Bob, I'm gonna say they're. I'm gonna say even. I used to say a four, but it's more like a three. We're usually not as financially organized as we should be. Well, where do you think people would like to be, Rye? Don't we all want to be a ten? Don't we want to have our financial house in order? If you don't want to be a ten, you should want to be a ten. And if you would like to be a ten, all you have to do is be one of our next ten callers. If you have saved over two hundred thousand for retirement, Rye and I will create for you your own customized three hundred and sixty financial portal. Now, here's what this means to you. All those account numbers, all those passwords and security questions that you have and you have to remember or write down for every bank account, every brokerage account, every insurance policy, every credit card, even your mortgage. Think about virtually everything with a statement and online access. You can now only reduce it to one password and one sign-on and you can have all of your financial information organized. Think about how amazing it would be to be financially organized. Something happened to you. Think how easy it will be for your children or for your surviving spouse to keep you working or transition your financial affairs in a worst case scenario. If you're one of the next 10 callers, here's exactly what we're going to do for you. We're going to look at all of your investment statements and we're going to reduce it down to the three key elements of a successful portfolio. Diversification, fees, income. We're going to make sure that you're getting the return for the risk that you're currently taking. We're going to look and see if you're being overcharged by your portfolio. We're going to look at all those hidden costs in those big, thick prospectuses that you get from your insurance company or from your mutual fund company. And lastly, we're going to look at all of your investments and make answer that age-old question, are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my son and I have been perfecting now for over 40 years. We want to take your family from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams, your values with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as a fiduciary can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 safe for retirement, get the holistic review. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844 844- Plan NYC. Again, call or text 844 752 6692. That's 844 Plan NYC. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. It's time for Financial Pornography of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So Bob, what did you find out there this week in the world of financial 
pornography. You know, Ryan, another name for uh, financial pornography is noise, right? There's noise that yep. comes from the media, it comes from your television, it comes from your newspaper. And the most dangerous noise comes from an expert who was right once in the past. And that expert would be GMO's Jeremy Grantham, who says stocks could be heading up for a melt up, a melt up. Now, this is a guy who's missed this entire rally, but he's now <laughs> calling for a melt up anytime in the next six months to 18 months. What do you think of that? Well, that's so he was telling everyone what the markets were not going to go up for the last couple of years. And all of a sudden now the market is going up big. He's telling you yes. to get in now when prices are already melting up, per se. Well, here's this is even better. <laughs> this is even better. Not only does he predict we're going to melt up. So he thinks where the S&P is going to, I'm basing this on my own calculations from reading the article, that the S&P is going to run up to about 3,700 on a uh, big burst of euphoria and a, a blow off top. But once it reaches there, it's then going to drop 50% back to where it was last November <laughs> before the election. I mean, it sounds like the perfect plan. I mean, if, if we could only predict things that easily, this would be the best way to invest your money. But it sounds like his track record is not that stellar and his crystal ball is not very good. No, nah, but he's, he's well respected. So he always gets the attention whenever he writes an article. And this is the problem with financial pornography. This is the problem with noise. You, you read something like this over the last couple of years and you say, hey, this guy's really smart. He did call the bottom or the top in 2000. He did call the bottom in 2009. However, in the last couple of years, he's been very, very bearish and he's kept his people out of the market. And, you know, now you have somebody who's kept you out of the market telling you to get back into the market, telling you he can get you out in time. That is so yeah. dangerous because all you had to do is stay invested in your strategy and you're set for life. Well, I think that's, it's this is actually an old Bobism, Bob. <laughs> like you always say, the problem with market timing is you don't have to be right once, you have to be right twice. Because A, mm -hmm. you've got to get out of the market before it drops. And then when it drops, you got to figure out the best time to get back in. And we know from statistics and history, it's virtually impossible to do that. I mean, you know, there's a good chance. Did you get out of the market after the election? I had many clients that said, I'm going to the sidelines. I, you know, I don't want to get in here and virtually missed one of the biggest moves we've ever seen in the stock market. It's just such a dangerous game to play. And that's why these gurus are so, so dangerous. And well, I actually Rob, he found- gave a, He gave us a secret indicator. I'm going to let you know what it is. You ready? <laughs> What's the secret indicator? Yes. Keep an eye on the televisions in the restaurants where you have lunch. If they're only talking <laughs> about the market and you know Amazon and Bitcoin, and they're not talking about the uh, New England Patriots, then it's time to get out. Wow. That's a uh, amazing indicator <laughs> to use. I guess I have to go to a lot of diners over the next year to- uh, to, find, to make those decisions. I thought um, you said lunches for wimps. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's not anymore, apparently. Not anymore. Um, okay. <laughs> another article in the same vein, I found an, an, a client emailed me this week, another economic guru, this guy, his name is William White. He's the Swiss-based head of the OECD Review and an ex-chief mm -hmm. economist for the Bank for International Settlements. It's a lot of titles right there. Yeah. And Sounds like he you can't keep a job. Can't keep, yeah, <laughs> probably closer to the truth. But okay. since he is a ex-chief economist, he hmm. wrote that the world finance is now more dangerous than in 2008 and warns that we could be seeing a bigger meltdown than we saw in the past. Now, I went back and I thought, you know what? Maybe I should check this guy's track record. And I went back to January of 2016 and he said the global financial system has become dangerously unstable and faces an avalanche. <laughs> so this was 2016. Now, as we know, the S&P was trading around 2,000 back then. So he only missed about 40% on the upside. And I went back to January 2015. And he warned that central bank profit, this is this guy, fears QE warfare pushing world financial system out of control. So he's been predicting since 2015, 16, I'm going to guess in 17 and again now in 18 for four years running that we're on the uh, precipice of some huge cataclysmic decline and he's still wrong. Well, that's the best advice you've ever given, right? You know, when you see someone with all these credentials making this cataclysmic projection, go back and check their track record, right? Because they'll keep saying it over and over again. And when finally the market does go down, they'll say, oh, see, I was right. But, you know, the problem is these people think, you know, when, you, when you're very negative, you sound so much more intelligent than when you're optimistic. Although, you know, I don't think anybody 
thinks that Warren Buffett isn't very smart. He's always optimistic. But these naysayers that they parade in front of us in financial pornography are always negative. They're always naysayers. And they're always predicting, you know, this horrendous drop in the market. But, you know, remember what that plaque on my desk says, world doesn't end very often. That's right. That's right. Now in the last uh, couple uh, thousand years or so. So yes, the world does not end very often. And Bob, this just hits home why it's so important to have an actual financial game plan in place that's not uh, dependent on financial gurus that are out there in the world of financial pornography, that everything becomes goal-based. And that's what I love about our 360 financial portal. You know, It's like we essentially build a place that we can paint a picture of what the future looks like, what your goals are, and then work back from there and build a plan and a strategy that's around those goals, not about what some, some guru on TV is saying. Well, see, Ryan, that's the beauty of it. It's hard data, right? It's in writing. It's your plan. It's your projection, whether it's a cash flow projection or it's retirement, you know, complete retirement analysis projection. These are hard numbers that show where you are today, where you're going to be every year for the rest of your life. You see, without those hard numbers, without that view, it's, you know, financial pornography's lips against your fears, right? You're going to, you know, you're going to hear their words against your fear and fear is going to win every time. When you can see how your money compounds, whether it's from dividends or interest or capital gains or all the above, and how you know you use the past as a way to project the future using below market projections. It's amazing the comfort you feel when you look at those projections. And you know, having done this for 42 years, right, I get to see all these plans come to fruition and see people living a great life with an income lifetime of income they can't outlive, children educated, charities funded, and an estate plan that's not an IOU to the IRS. I'll tell you what, without these tools people fail. They fail miserably. Everybody should take advantage of using a wealth projection in our financial portal. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need a real game plan. I can't rely on financial gurus. Then here's your shot to get a full holistic financial review. We have a couple slots left. If you're one of the next few callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our famous total financial master plan. That's where we're going to build you your own personal portal. We're going to upload all of your assets, your 401ks, your brokerage accounts, insurance policies, and we're going to review everything in one customized portal for you. And we're going to organize everything into one holistic view. And we're going to look at the big picture. We're going to do a full x-ray of your portfolio. We're going to look at income, Can you increase the income on your portfolio or the amount of cash flow it produces annually? Income is so critical in retirement. Bob and I are going to show you how to optimize that. We're going to look at diversification. Is your money properly diversified? If we do have another market correction, are you protected? Bob and I are going to show you the pitfalls in your portfolio and how to protect yourself. We're also going to look at fees, those hidden costs in your portfolio you don't know you're paying from those annuities, mutual funds, different brokerage products. We're going to show you how to reduce the cost on your portfolio. And then finally, we're going to tie it all together and we're going to determine, are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, our family has worked on for literally 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is call 844-PLAN-NYC. You can call or text 844 752 Six six nine two. If you're one of the next few callers and you've saved over two hundred thousand for your retirement, our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan if you don't call eight four four Plan NYC. Call or text eight four four seven five two six six nine two. This is the Pain Family. We are no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. How's that saying go? No pain, no gain? It's the name of our show, too, but we spell pain, P-A-Y-N-E. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I want to educate you. We want to make sure that you're making the best, most practical, common sense decisions about your investments, about your financial planning. And that's why we put together our latest guide, the highlights of the new tax reform. If you'd like to get a free copy of that, simply text the word bullish, that's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 
888. You can check it out. Make sure that you're ready for taxes this year. We put all the highlights in there. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. Get our latest guide, the highlights of the new tax reform. Text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to know more about myself and Bob, how does Bob really style his hair? Well, you can check us out on the World Wide Web. Simply go to www.bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can subscribe to the radio show there and learn a little bit more about paying capital, our firm. And if you have any questions that you want to ask myself or Bob, you can actually email us directly at questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I will answer your questions directly. And if it's a really good question, We'll answer it right here on the show. And like every week, Bob, we got some pretty good questions. The first question comes in from Amy. She's in Stamford, Connecticut. She writes in, Bob, I've had the same financial advisor for 20 years. We don't talk as often as I'd like, but I'm assuming this is okay since he's known me for so long and knows so much about me. What's so wrong about this, Bob? Well, it sounds like, Amy, that uh, somebody knows you so well that they're taking advantage of your good nature and just ignoring you. And that's not good because planning is a breathing strategy. I mean, it's, it's not a document. It's not a, it's not a one-time projection. It's a process. And, you know, things change. I mean, you should be rebalancing your portfolio. You should be reinvesting and compounding your dividends and interest. There was new tax law that came out that should be reviewed with you and the implications to you and your situation, your family situation. You know, we're in the financial services industry, Rye. And I think the biggest that. problem I find is that there's always a lack of service when you have someone like Amy's advisor who never calls them. Yeah. And the problem is over 20 years, you know, Amy is probably, I'm assuming you're closer to retirement if you're not in retirement now. And this is one of the big problems I see. If I look at analyzing portfolios on a week to week basis, a lot of times your portfolio looks the same way it did before 2008 mm-hmm. when the market corrected. And again, where it's 10 years later now, you can't afford to have the same kind of correction or same pullback in your portfolio you could when you were earlier in your working year. So it's so critical to adjust your portfolio based on what your needs are. So what you said, Bob, you need to make it a working document. And you know, our rule of thumb is you meet with your advisor at least every 12 months. I and mean, that's mandatory. Well, it's not just meeting with the advisor, setting up with a financial portal so that you can look at your wealth projection to see where you are today and where you're headed. Or you can look at your portal and it tracks how you're doing towards all of your personal goals, not the advisor's goal of retirement, your goal of retirement. You know, right, sounds like Amy has one of those portfolios that was built 20 years ago. You know, the day the earth stood still. <laughs> we know some people that uh, build portfolios like that. It's not pretty. We see it too often. We see it way too often. And it's just, I think yeah. every, I think you need to get a second opinion. Whether you trust that person or not, it's not about trust. It's about expertise. And there's plenty of people that are in the investment business, not a lot of people in the financial advice business. We've come a long way in the investment business of reducing costs and reducing accessibility and information. But, you know, information isn't what it's about. It's about a plan that's built by a fiduciary who has your interest first, not theirs. Yeah, that's a good point. So you want to make sure if you get a second opinion, work with someone who is a fiduciary, ask the advisor to make sure that that simply means that they have to act in your best interest by law. Not all financial planners are fiduciaries. That's a great point. Next question comes in from Howard on Great Neck, Long Island. He writes in, how much long-term care coverage is recommended, Ryan? It seems there are hundreds of different policy options. You're right, Howard. It makes my head spin, all the insurance options out there. And I think the first decision you want to make when you're deciding about long-term care insurance to insure or not to insure And that simply is looking at your portfolio, you know, working with a planner and deciding if, God forbid, you do have some catastrophic illness that's prolonged, could your portfolio sustain that or are you better off getting an insurance policy? Once you make that decision, then you can start to look at the different policies that are out there. It's so true. When you look at some of these older policies, they were great deals, except the premiums go up every year and suddenly the people can't afford the insurance premium. You know, long-term care is a tricky issue. A lot of times you can self-insure. A lot of times you need an insurance policy. And now there's all these hybrid policies 
that are very confusing, you know, for most people. And that's why you should definitely get a second opinion anytime you have any type of long-term care coverage or you haven't done that analysis for yourself. Yeah. And sometimes it could be a hybrid of both. Sometimes maybe you'll self-insure for some of it and maybe get a lower amount of coverage. But, you know, like, like anything else, financial planning has got to be unique to you. So you really have to see what work makes the most sense. But, you know, the first decision, again, is decide, you know, can you self-insure? Or if you do need an insurance policy, another key thing here is work with an independent insurance advisor. With Payne Capital Management, we only work with independents because you want someone that's going to give you lots of different options, not beholden to one carrier. So just another important point. Same thing when you're picking your financial planner, make sure they're a fiduciary. You want to have an independent insurance advisor as well. Yeah, well, well said, Ry. Really good points. And, you know, if, if you have the same advisor for 20 years or, or you're wondering, is long-term care an issue that's been addressed sufficiently in my mind? Why sit there and wonder when you could know? If you're one of the next few callers and you saved at least $200,000 for retirement, Ry and I will run for you your own renowned total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, there's no strings attached. All you have to do is call. And if you're one of the next few callers, you have a few spots left, here's exactly what you can expect. We're gonna review your tax situation. We're gonna look at your estate plan. We wanna be certain that your estate plan is not an IOU to the IRS. Hey, we just finished the quarter. You've got all your statements sitting on your desk. You don't have to open them, throw them in a shopping bag. Pick up the phone, make an appointment. We're going to review it all. We're gonna break it down into the three core elements of a successful portfolio. Diversification, cost, and income. We want to make sure that you're optimizing the income that's available to you. I mean, it's the foundation of every solid financial plan. You know, fees are insidious. They're hidden. They're deep in those prospectuses of the mutual fund companies or the annuity companies. They send you those documents with all those hidden costs which hurt your performance over time. We want to make sure that you're not being overcharged. We want to be certain that you're getting the return for the risk you're taking. We want you to be truly globally diversified. And finally, we're going to tie it all together into one 360 financial portal, which will answer the age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my son and I have been perfecting now for four decades. That's 40 years. We've been helping families like yours get from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So don't waste time. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. This is your shot. We have a couple slots left. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. NYC. This is your shot to get a full holistic review. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Here's this week's spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. This is no pain, no gain financial radio. And at Pain Capital, we want to educate you, make sure that you're just getting practical, common sense advice for your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest guide, the highlights on the new tax reform. Make sure you're tax ready for 2018. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's B U L L I S H, to 555 888. That's the word bullish. To 555-888. You can get our latest guide, get all the highlights of the new tax reform. Make sure you're ready for this year at 555-888. Just text the word bullish. You can download our newest free guide at 555-888. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. And now it's time for my favorite part of the show. This is our spotlight segment where we dissect a real financial plan and uncover what we call the flaws or pain points, that's P-A-Y-N-E for the record, so you can avoid the same mistakes with your own planning and investing. And we have a very special guest on the show this morning, Pain Capital's own certified financial planner, Miss Michelle McKinnon. Good morning, Michelle. Thanks for being on the show. 
Good morning. Excited to be here. So you worked on a case this past week. Why don't you give us the rundown of what this couple was doing with their retirement planning and some of the flaws in their strategy? Yeah. So this couple, super nice people came in and they had actually never done any planning, Ryan. So he was really run down at work. He's been busting his butt for, you know, 30 years. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he just like looked at me like, I need to retire, but I'm scared to retire. Mm. And, you know, sizable net worth. And, you know, I looked back and I said, okay, let's go through the numbers. Let's talk about the expenses. And of course, definitely a lot of expenses. However, a decent amount of income. But I was just surprised yet again, Ryan, that there was just no planning ever been done. Hmm. I'm looking at this portfolio right just now. There's accumulation, no accumulation, accumulation. Well, not bad, but... Uh, no, great. I mean, great bad. job on the accumulation, but I, I almost felt kind of bad for the guy because he just really looked tired. <laughs> and I was like, okay, let, let's talk about a way to try to figure out how you get retired. And some of the, the main points, which if, if you're looking at the portfolio, is diversification. You know, heavy right. weighting in the U.S. equities, no surprise there. And he lacked a lot of the performance potential back uh, last year because, you know, more foreign markets outperformed the U.S. And again, you know, beginning of this year, it's looking like the same thing. So that was a big point. And the cash flow on his portfolio. So thinking about retirement, thinking about what he's going to need. Well, when we ran the figures, we could generate him an extra 25000 in cash flow. And if he only has expensive wow. of like 150, I mean, that's a lot of money looking at your overall expenses. Yeah, I'm looking here. I mean, it, you go from having almost 30,000 in cash flow to $70,000 a year in cash flow. That creates a lot of certainty in this portfolio. Unbelievable. The other thing I noticed too, Michelle, just going through some of these accounts, we talk about, you know, how protected is your portfolio if you have another downturn like we did in 2008. And I'm looking at the way some of these accounts are allocated. These counts would be down like 40% if, God forbid, we had a correction tomorrow. Not the best place to be if you're going to retire. Especially if you're going to retire next year and the correction happened next year, right? So a pretty scary place to be in. And ultimately, you know, we ran these figures and, you know, there, there needed to be adjustments. And, you know, yeah, we could potentially retire how of expenses had to go down. And maybe he couldn't retire right now and maybe he could do part-time work. So it was a lot more extensive than just a, a yes or no answer. And I think a lot of people come in with wanting a yes or no answer that it is black and white. And I think that's really why you need an advisor because usually there's so many other pieces to the pie that, okay, maybe you can't officially stop working altogether, but you know, maybe let's pick up some part time. Uh, you know, there's so many other things that you can think about when you're thinking about your official retirement date that it's just not a black and white, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's so exciting when you, when you sit down with someone who, who just lives in fear, you know, not knowing if they can retire or not, the, the look of relief must be amazing when you're sitting with them. And, you know, Michelle, I thought it was interesting that, um, you know, as much as you did a lot of planning on wealth projections and income projections. He also had some very interesting recommendations. For example, the backdoor Roth for Diane. Why don't you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so the, the backdoor Roth I love. And um, I was looking at ways to become creative, right? Obviously, he's done a phenomenal job saving, but all these other right. little tips can go such a long way. And the backdoor Roth is a way for high-income earners that technically cannot contribute to a Roth the regular way. Yep. However, if you have an IRA that's not funded, you can make a non-deductible, and non-deductible is key, contribution to an IRA and then convert it to a Roth. And that's the quote-unquote backdoor way. And that's potentially tax free, right? All the growth is tax free. So that's just another avenue, particular people like these guys where they have so much in qualified funds right. that, you know, we need to increase, you know, the tax free as well as the taxable accounts or else every single time they need money, they're going to be hit with taxes to take it out. I love that because it goes back to my famous saying, famous in my mind anyway, money saved in taxes is just as green as money can make invested. And that's what we don't realize is our money in IRA and retirement accounts are literally a tax time bomb when we turn 70 and a half. So anything you can do strategically before then takes a huge tax burden off of you later. And that's why things like backdoor Roth, where you should talk to your accountant first, but yes. you can create <laughs> you know, a whole income stream that's tax-free in retirement. I mean, that's huge. And I also love that, Michelle, when you put a picture together of someone's complete total financial master plan, you know, you see someone who's had whole life insurance their whole life, but, you know, to protect them. But now they're in a position where they've accumulated so much wealth, they can self-insure themselves. And they've got all this cash sitting in a whole life policy that's not generating much in terms of return. 
And that complements, puts them in even a more secure position by allocating those assets more properly. So, you know, great ideas here, great strategies. Yeah, the life insurance, again, to harp on that, I just got a client this morning that sent me an old policy that he dug up and, he, you know, 100000 of life insurance, cash value, and then X amount in, in death benefit. And, you know, we forget about those policies, particularly yeah, yeah. when we're retired or we're about to be retired, right? We, we think, you know, okay, we'll stop paying the term life, but oftentimes we purchased whole life policies back in our 20s from our, you know, friend that was selling insurance and then we wake up and forget that, oh, I have this cash balance that I can do something with. And they're a lousy, lousy deal. Yes, uh, often expensive. <laughs> which, I mean, that's cool too. I mean, you built them their own portal so we could analyze all this stuff. How much do they love that 360 portal, which is, I think, the greatest thing since sliced bread. Yeah, I I mean, to be able to see your whole entire net worth up to date. I think it was awesome, Michelle. Yeah, they loved it. I mean, I loved it. So I obviously encouraged it. <laughs> well, I mean, isn't it great? I mean, being able to go up every day, see exactly what you're worth and see how you're tracking towards each of your separate personal goals, knowing that you're set for life. I mean, what a better feel. What a better way to start the day or every quarter or every time, you know, there's some negative news. Just go and take a look and you get that calm feeling that you're in great shape financially. Awesome. Well, great job on this case, Michelle. Great job. Another, as Bob would say, financial masterpiece. You put together a great one. And if you're sitting there thinking to yourself, I need a review like this. I need a full holistic review that analyzes everything. Here's your shot to do it. We have a couple slots left. If you're one of the next few callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, and our certified financial planner, Michelle McKinnon, will run for you a total financial master plan, and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. We'll do a holistic review just like this. We're going to look at income. Can we increase the income on your portfolio? This couple's income is going up by almost $30,000 a year. How can we optimize the income for you? We're going to look at diversification. If the market corrects tomorrow, what kind of hit will your portfolio take? This couple would have gone down 30, 40%. You need to protect yourself. We're going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio against any market declines. And we're going to look at fees. Do you have a lot of these old insurance policies that you're paying way too much for that are not a good deal? We're going to analyze everything. And then finally, we're going to build you that customized portal and we're going to determine are you going to outlive your money or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? utilizing strategies now we've worked on for literally over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Hey, it's your turn to be financially organized. Just give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. You can call or text 844-752-6692. We have a few spots left. Don't miss out. If you've saved over $200,000 for retirement, our team will create for you your own personal total financial master plan. There's no obligation and there's no cost, but you miss out if you don't call 844-PLAN-NYC. Call or text 844-752-6692. Well, another great show, Michelle. Not only gets this next to you every day or stand since we have standing desks, but man, to hang out with you on the weekend too, I mean, talk about the it icing It couldn't get any cake. better, Ryan, honestly. <laughs> well, thanks for being on the show this morning. Always great to have one of our two certified financial planners, rock stars here at Payne Capital. Excited. Thank you. <laughs> Big Bob, what are you doing? Are you getting stretched out and ready for the Eagles game next Sunday? Well, I was going to do that, Ryan, but I'm actually looking for the old Sears catalog. Since you got a big birthday coming up, i got to find a present for you. <laughs> oh, Don't yeah. Remind me. Oh, yeah. It's a big one. Don't remind me. <laughs> a really big show. one. Oh, yeah. An old one. <laughs> it's a great place to end the show. <laughs> Have a great weekend. <laughs> and as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.